21st of March. This is Mustel session 83, I think. Um, and it's just after lunchtime. I got on the ground at about half past nine. And uh, I got, I've not actually been here long. I think I've been here probably about an hour. I'm down at Last Resort. The camera's pointing towards Last Resort and the outlet, which appeared to be massively washed open, but I've just had a look and it's not much different to what it was before. My intention on this session was to uh, tackle this floor. Um, I've been thinking about it for weeks, um, but I've kind of had enough today. Uh, I got, uh, we had some really bad flooding, well, it was nationwide, all over the UK, back in February, I think it was. But it lasted three weeks, three really, really big floods. And um, I kind of expected things to be uh, tricky getting in, which they were. Um, the entrance series, there was a lot of loose in there, there was a lot of grass. Um, as soon as I got into the second canal, I knew the duck was going to be desperate. I, straight away, I knew the dam was back up again. Um, the duck required a helmet off free dive, which I came out of covered in grass and froth. It was very unpleasant. So I spent some time lowering the dam. <clears throat> and I think I managed to drop the water level in the second canal by maybe half a foot. So hopefully it should be significantly low by the time I get get out. Um, yeah, these are, the, these are the lower chambers, mud banks. Um, this area here had collapsed, entry to last resort had collapsed when I got here which I've just cleared all these boulders here you can just see my pinch bar stuck out of that big one, it's actually not as big as it looks that's my hand it's a scale but it was still uh, tricky on your own um, so yeah it's my intention to start trying to make a film every trip now because um, although I enjoy the writing Having something that people can watch adds another dimension to it, I guess. And everybody, everybody seems to be vlogging these days. So that's uh, looking down Healy Avenue, which leads to Featherstone Chamber via the notch. And right up there is the uh, false floor, which also leads to Featherstone Chamber if you go left. Um... I'm uh, sporting a new wetsuit today, which I've trekked myself to at Christmas. So I've actually stayed warmer longer than usual, but I don't know whether it's the suit. You Well, I've never ever been warm in here when I've stopped still for long periods, but I've stayed warmer a little bit longer today. I've even got my trendy denim shorts on, just until the newness of the wetsuit wears off. Um, uh, what else was I going to say? I actually bought a fisherman's PVC two-piece set of waterproofs to put on, but I've stayed warm long enough not to feel it was necessary. I'm going to leave them here anyway. Um, they can stay down here. So, uh, that's about it. So it's still session 83. Uh, I'm back in the blue room. I'll try and get... I'm actually filming this on an iPhone 4. Next time I come, I've, uh, I've got a slightly better camera for the job. That's looking through to the Alley Cat series. I've not looked in there today. I'll have, I'm coming back here on Monday, hopefully. So I'm going to have a look in there, and I'm possibly going to strip the scaffold out of there as well. Um, when I arrived at the end of a robberous passage before reaching Piston Chamber, there was a really strong draft. Stronger than I think I've ever encountered before, I think. It's been... Since I opened the route to the Blue Room, the draft has increased, but um, it felt stronger, anyway, than anything I've encountered before, so I was like, my God, what am I going to find? Um, but I've not looked at everything yet. I'm tired. It's been a tough trip. I was... Um, the swims were really cold, especially with the deeper water. Um... But anyway, I've just been looking through my gear in here and I found that the uh, first aid kit is completely flooded. I can't believe it. It was actually sealed up in a dry bag. It's not been opened for a couple of years. Uh, but it's completely drowned. Which sucks. 
So yeah, it's, uh, I think it was, I forget when it was when I broke into here. I think it was August 2018. It felt so alien back then as well. It feels like, uh, kind of like home now. Well, it's kind of like the new depot, really. And yeah, my Darren drum, which was, is, I think, imploded. Um, it's not had any rocks drop on it. Um, it's always been kept kind of out of the way, so I'm assuming that's implosion damage. Still got quite a few scaff clips left as well. Yeah. But I'm going to have a really good tidy up because I've got stuff scattered all over due to flooding and there's quite a lot of stuff missing which I hopefully I'll find because they're all big objects.